this birthday card, I took one of the wood stamps and was able to cut it apart. Here you see the complete stamp, but it was a good candidate for cutting into some sections here. And as you can see, I will have made use of almost all of the pieces. You can see what I cut away here. So you might stamp and color it a couple of times, and then you've got multiple pieces to create a very dynamic pop-up. So with my little test panels, I could begin uh, looking at possibilities like this, and I can just sort of hold them in place a little bit to figure out what would work. And you certainly could do a fun one with the platform here. And you wouldn't need that top layer. And actually that works kind of fun. And then I um, tried a couple other things. And um, I tried doing two separate ones. And again, I can even test how things are going to fit here. And actually, where's my packages? There we go. So this gives me a, more of a sense of depth than height. And so I've got those positioned there. And then I decided to use the little tab here in front to put the happy birthday. And the tab up here at the top would let me make use of this one. And once you lay it out flat like this, then you can position all of your dies that you've selected. And you would run those three through the machine first, and then you can come back and use this one again, turning it around to go this way. And that's going to give you all of your pop-up structures. Mm -hmm.